impressive win in their previous game against Atlanta. Jeff, they won for a number of reasons. What would you say was the most important? Say it with me, Mike. Come on. It's a make or miss league. You know it. They did it. They made it from the three. And when you have the three-pointer going, I don't care who you are, you're tough to beat. The two defenders converge. Careless ball handling. Jimmy Butler back with the Bulls. That was the number one priority in the offseason. He has turned into as good a two-way player as there is on the perimeter. What a year Jimmy Butler had bouncing back from a subpar year the year before. The NBA's most improved player. And like you said, Mike, he did it at both ends of the floor. A terrific two-way player. Washington's called for the foul. Their first team foul. Excellent offensive play right there. Contact, finish, just didn't get it to drop for the three-point play opportunity. Good bounce back, hitting the second free throw. He's one for two. To Porter. Gortat, it's up and gets the roll. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Grant brings it across. It's a loose ball. Gibson against Morris to the rim. Yep, he hit him. A foul called against Wall. That's his first. And Taj Gibson will go to the line. He's shooting 69% this season. First free throw, perfect. Oh, that was great body control. To be able to absorb the contact and still get off a quality shot just didn't get it to drop. And gets both points from the line. Last couple of years, what's been nice for Washington, John Wall's been healthy. And when he's healthy, he's one of the best, Jeff. He's a one-man fast break, pushing the ball with great pace in the open court. When he gets other guys running with him, they are terrific in transition. And then defensively, people still don't give him the credit he deserves. A very, very good defender on the ball. Gortat moves into the front court. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. To Beal, he's averaging 17 points per game this season. Gortat for another attempt. And Marcin Gortat with a nice look, sinks it. He's averaging 13 points per game this season. Come on, yo. Slams it home for two. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. To Beal. He's averaging 17 points per game this season. Morris's pass, almost a costly turnover. Boy, when you play Washington, you've got to be ready for one of the best backcourts in the NBA. As a coach, Jeff, how do you handle Wall and Bradley Beal? A perfect fit together for the Wizards. You talk about Bradley Beal's jump shooting, playing off John Wall's terrific speed and penetration. And then Beal's a good rebounder, and he, too, is an excellent defender. So. They've got it covered at the offensive end and at the defensive end. Quick release for three. Misfires from beyond the arc. To Gortat. He's got seven points thus far. Tries the reverse. Counted. And the foul. Blocking called against Lopez. And Marcin Gortat will get to the line to try and finish the three-point play. That's great body control right there. Finishes the shot and now goes to the free-throw line. Excellent anticipation to take the pass away. For the layup, it's good, and one. He got there late, the foul called against Grant. And he led to the line for the second time tonight. Terrific concentration to finish the shot and now shoot a free throw. To the line, shooting one. 
the Bulls a perfect example of you're going to have your ups and downs night in and night out offensively. But if you play defense with that type of commitment, with that type of passion, you're in every game. Absolutely. The misnomer is that defense wins championships. But when you're going through and absorbing the injuries the Bulls have had the last couple years, you have to try to stay in games by playing tough as nails defense. And that's exactly the formula the Bulls used to play with great, great success. Oh, what a play! Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with a nice dunk. The assist from number 34, Mike Dunleavy. Gortat won't go. You got to figure out how you can get a better quality shot and use your greatness to attract the second defender and find the open man. Grant, the catch and fire away from downtown. Won't go, too strong. It's good, back up and in on the follow. He's averaging 11 points per game this season. The finish of your defense always has to be blocking out and securing the defensive rebound. Here they didn't do it. Good pursuit on the offensive board and allowed him to stick it right back in. And Marcin Gortat will go to the line. He's two for four from the line here tonight. Off the mark on the first free throw. Oh, he misses them both. Gets in the paint. Inside. There's the whistle. Good job to draw the foul. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. I really like what I saw there. Good strength, good athleticism, took the foul, got up a nice shot, just didn't roll in. Able to convert on both free throws. To Beal, he's averaging 17 points per game this season. We're tied for two, puts it up, knocks it down. Three-point lead for the Wizards. Terrific teamwork to start this game. They've done an incredible job of scoring on a consistent basis. Plenty of points in this matchup. Three-pointer won't go. Well, clearly last year, Jeff, a coming out party for John Wall. You can see the improvement and the confidence in this young man. Well, absolutely. He has improved, and Mike, the biggest improvement is he's helping his team win now. You've got to, you're never gonna be able to display all of your talents and skills in the NBA. You've got to learn to share. And I thought Wall last year did a great job of doing what he does best, but sharing with others. Wall coming across. Gets to the rim. That's good for two. And it's a five point lead for the Wizards. Right from the start here in the first half, they've made a conscious effort to move the basketball around and get quality shots. Grant shot blocked. To Morris. Washington's given the coaching staff a lot of reasons to smile in this matchup, Jeff. What have you liked? Sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent, and that is what we're seeing here tonight. The intensity off the charts. Nice ball movement. He loses control of it. It's out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. And we have a substitution being made. Entering the game for Washington, number 42. Grant against Wall. I got him. I got him. Here we go. Quick catch and shoot. Gets it to go. He scored 10 points in their previous game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Gortat on the drive. The official has the call. Says it's an offensive foul. It'll be Bulls ball. Scotty Brooks is switching a few players here. Levy for two. Porter the rebound. And they get the 20-second timeout.
Archon Gortat's checked in again. He's got 20 points in this matchup. A nice offensive contribution. And the paint knocks it down. That's a two-pointer. The Wizards up by seven. They haven't wasted any time in establishing an offense based around ball movement and player movement, and the results speak for themselves. To the basket. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a new 24. To number 13, Marcin Gortat. That's his third personal foul. Team foul. And he hits the first free throw. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Washington's done some nice things in this game so far. What's impressed you the most, Jeff? Ball movement. Repeat after me. You want to win in this league, you move the ball. That's exactly what they have done. That's why their assist totals are so high. To the rim. There's the whistle. Nice job drawing the foul. Otto Porter picks up his second foul of the night. Look, you got to put yourself in position to be fouled if you're a good offensive player and a great free throw shooter. Take advantage of your strengths. Earn your way. to the free throw line. Timeout. They need a full timeout right here. Marching. Gortat's checked in again. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. Here's an interception. To McDermott. Nice move into the paint. Oh, he shoots it. Won't go. Way off target. To Gortat. Shoots it for two. Able to knock it down. The Wizards up by eight. When everybody is involved in touching the ball. Like what's happening here in the first half, and you've got your assist total up, then you're going to create also a defensive intensity at the other end of the floor. And that's exactly what has happened here in the first half. Dudley against Miritich. To Gortat. Forced to make the pass. They double him. Can't hold on to the ball. Good play. Gets the steal. Kicks it out to the corner. Lots of room there. Nails the three. He scored 10 points in their previous game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Gortat. As the double team close in, can hit from downtown. He's a great shooter, but he could have driven the ball into the paint and made a play for his teammates. There's the double team. Gortat on the drive. He puts it up. The Wizards with the offensive rebound for another possession. Puts it in. That's a two-pointer. And it's a seven-point lead for Washington. How do you... You will create separation in this game. You do it by getting more shots than your opponent. Good offensive rebound, sticking it back in, second chance points. Critical in building up a quality margin. Washington's focus throughout this game has been superb, Jeff. I'm going to celebrate the game, Mike. I am going to celebrate the game. 
Their offense is just this good. Yeah, you can nitpick some defensive mistakes, but when you're looking for great offensive basketball, team basketball, this group is doing it, and they're doing it on every possession. Trying to keep that ball in bounds. To Gortat. A ferocious slam. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. And it's a turnover. Gortat on the drive to the basket, flips it up. That's good. 11 point lead for the Wizards. It should be no surprise that they're ahead in this game. You look at the role they're on offensively, and you understand exactly why they are winning. Puts in the three. He scored 10 points in their previous game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Pretty little pass. Ref blows the whistle. He's got a foul. And Marcin Gortat will go to the line. He's two for six from the free throw line. Hey, it's free throws for a reason. They're free. Take them, make them, quit missing them, quit choking. Now that's more like it, but it has to continue. He needs to hit free throws with all these opportunities he generates at the free throw line. Moving the ball around beautifully. At the rim, unable to flip it in. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed it. Gortat, looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team, gets it right back. Ball comes loose, reaches in with a steal. Oh, a ferocious dunk. Gortat, and here's the double. Tied up and has to pass. From deep in the corner, won't go from three-point range. The NBA game is a long game. You may be down now, but if you string together three or four good possessions at both ends of the floor, you can be right back in it. Meritage counted, plus the foul. And it's on to the free throw line. One shot to complete the three-point play. Absorbs the contact, finishes the shot, and now works his way to the free throw line. To the line, shooting one. Gortat on the drive, goes to the goal, knocks it down. Good job off the double team from Marcin Gortat. What more could the defense have done, Mike? They had him double team, and he still managed to get off the shot. He rattles it in. Uh, when you see these type of plays in slow motion, only then do you realize how graceful and athletic they are. Portis at the buzzer. And that's it for the first quarter. The Wizards up by three. Stay with us for more. One of those games where it seems every shot is falling. Now, what are the coaches saying at this point, Jeff? They can't be happy about the defensive play. I'm not sure it's bad defense, Mike. I just think it's superior offense. Great shot making by both teams. Yes, they have to play a little bit better defense, but let's appreciate the offense. The assist from number three. Washington's given a terrific all-around performance. Jeff, what do you like the most? It's the combination of passing and movement. You can always pass the ball, but to get the proper movement and maintain your spacing, that's what makes a team special on offense. The perfect dish. McDermott's shot turned back. Takes another shot. The Bulls with control on the rebound. Dunleavy on the drive. To the rim. Nice touch at the basket. Look, you can't give up layups like that. you got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Gortat has the double team converge. Double team able to get the shot off. Can't get it to go. That's just not good enough. That's too quick. He's a great shooter, but he's not a great shooter shooting low percentage shot. To McDermott. He's got two assists in this contest. 
trying to work it down low. Puts it up. Unable to flip it in. Hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. Loses control. Reaches in. It's stolen. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. And Fred Hoiberg makes a single substitution. The two defenders swarm. Grant against Gortat. Grant fires away. The Bulls with the offensive rebound and keep it. Oh, and he throws it down. Pound the offensive board. Get extra possession. Great job in the pursuit of the basketball and then finishing at the rim. Can't get the layup to drop. The double team came hard and high and to the post player's body. That's what forced the difficult shot attempt and the miss. Possessions. Gortat on the drive. It's good. A two-pointer. He's shooting 75% from the field tonight. Basketball is a game of runs. This game has been no exception. It's been back and forth, and it's giving the fans the kind of up and down, back and forth action that keeps them interested. Gets that one to drop. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it, even against the best defense. Nice job drawing the foul. It's called against Lopez. That'll be his third. I really like what I saw. Good strength, good athleticism. Took the foul, got up a nice shot, just didn't roll in. Knocks down the second after he misses the first. And Marcus Thornton's called for the reach-in foul. To number 15, Marcus Thornton. And just one substitution being made here. Mike Dunleavy comes in for Robin Lopez. Number 34, Mike Dunleavy. To Dunleavy. He's got two assists in this contest. Gibson right there, and it won't go. Off goes across the line. Backcourt violation. Gets it inbounds. To Dunleavy. He's got two assists in this contest. Washington's effort and energy has been just excellent this evening, Jeff. Exquisite offensive basketball. Ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things, you're going to be a dynamic offensive basketball team. To Dunleavy, he's got three assists in the matchup. Gets it up for two. Nice finish around the rim. He's averaging 20 points per game this season. Number 34, Mike Dunleavy. Double team closing in. Gortat jump shot. Touch there, not this time. Dunleavy on the drive. To McDermott. He's got two assists in this contest. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. Gortat bringing it up here. Oh, quick move gets inside. Sloppy ball handling stolen by Butler. To the rim, nails it. That's a two-pointer. The Wizards down by two. Listen, Mike, they didn't have a lot of assists in the last game. And sometimes we can say, well, they didn't pass the ball. Sometimes you have to make shots. You could be passing the ball well, and you miss the shot. Well, today they're passing the ball well, and they're making. That's why their assists are way up. A whistle and a foul called against Grant. And Marcin Gortat will go to the line. He's 5 for 10 from the line tonight. Excellent offensive play right there. Contact, finish, just didn't get it to drop for the three-point play opportunity. Goes 2 for 2 with the line.
to Dunleavy. He's got four assists in the game. Dunleavy for two, shoots away. Able to put it in. The Bulls up by two. No one in around, knocks it home. Adjust the shot, hits for two. And Marcin Gortat with 13 points in the second quarter. Oh, look at the use of the body to create the space to get the ball up and in the basket. Nice job. Ball knocked loose. Lopez against Sessions. Oh, there's that Euro step move. Ready. There's the whistle. And Mike Dunleavy will go to the line and shoot two. Team foul number two for the and he connects on the first free throw. Washington's been playing some consistent basketball right from the opening tip, Jeff. Well, when you play for each other instead of playing for yourself, good things happen. You lose yourself within the team concept, you're going to play solid basketball. And that's exactly what is happening here today. Look at the beautiful ball movement and passing. Ball knocked out of his hands. Stripped and stolen by Thornton. Ball loose again. Nice display of extra hustle. Moving the ball. Excellent teamwork. It's good. A two-pointer. And it's a four-point lead for the Bulls. And what you're seeing here is both teams being very unselfish with the basketball. The assist total and gets it to go. Plus one. The block called against Lopez. And Marcin Gortat will go to the line. One shot to complete the three-point play. That's big time play right there. Finishing the shot through the contact and now goes to the free throw line. Butler on the drive, swatted away by Dudley. Lopez for two, lets it go. Off the rebound, looks to shoot, gets it to go. Two on the follow. Jaron Grant with 10 points. The finish of your defense always has to be blocking out and securing the defensive rebound. Here they didn't do it. Good pursuit on the offensive board and allowed him to stick it right back in. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. For the layup, flips it up, won't go. Don't worry about the miss, just keep creating quality shots. Eventually, they will go in. Beats his man, the two defenders converge, and he throws it down. This has turned out to be one of the better games of the season, Mike. They're really getting after each other on both sides of the floor. Inside. Won't go. Sessions the rebound. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Gets to the rim, puts it in. And it's a three-point lead for the Wizards. That's just a nice layup right there. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Lopez. In the paint. It's good. Chicago's shooting 50% from the field. And in their last game, the assist total wasn't where it needed to be. Today, it's a completely different story. They double him. Gortat on the drive to the basket, puts it in, a two-pointer. And Marcin Gortat with 60 points. Timeout called, the Bulls down by three. Oh, that's nice right there. Good layup, good finish. McDermott to the rim, can hit. It's hard to close out on great shooters. Tremendous job right there, getting his hand up, mirroring the ball. To Thornton. Gortat jump shot, knocks it down, beats the double team for two. Okay, now that's just lucky. No one makes a game plan based on forcing shots through double teams. 
That was just pure luck. Puts it down. What a play. And here's another look at that amazing dunk. Well worth the replay. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. They're all over him. Still puts it up. Lopez the rebound. To the basket, flips it up, can't lay it home. Even great shooters are distracted by a great closeout and a hard contest. Oh, he loses it. Oh, he gets the steal. At the rim, the Bulls with the offensive rebound for a new 24. Unable to flip it in. That's the mark of a great defensive team. Great closeout, great contest. That's the way to get it done. Tied up, has to make that pass to Thornton. Sent it to the corner. Fires for three from the corner. Lopez the rebound. Two minutes left in the second. Careless ball handling. Stolen by Thornton. McDermott. McDermott fires. Shot no good. Oh, terrific feed. Sweet dish. Goes to the goal. Can't get it to go down. Gortat, and it's a backcourt violation. For Washington. Coach going to make some changes and switch up the matchups. To the rim, gets it to go. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Shut down, forced to make the pass. It's a loose ball. Turnover forced by Butler. And he throws it down. What a great back and forth game we've been watching here today, Mike. It's getting hard to keep count of all the lead changes. Coach wants to talk here, calls a full timeout. Mike Dudley, he's checked in again. He's got six points in this game. Blows past the defender. Puts it up, knocks it down, a two-pointer. And Marcin Gortat with 28 points here in the second. You don't want to make a living taking contested two-point jump shots, but here it worked out because of superior concentration. Miritich, Gibson's looking for position in the paint. Butler on the drive. Gibson can't finish. Closing out defensively is the most important aspect of team defense. Great contest. Gortat on the drive to the rim. He says no, but the ref says foul. Called against Grant. That's his third personal. And Marcin Gortat will go to the free throw line. He's eight for 13 from the line. Knocks down the first one. I love the way the NBA player can contort his body, take contact, and get the ball up to the basket, even when being fouled hard. Terrific feed, Dunleavy for two. Soft touch, gets the roll. Hey, if you play the pick and roll like that, then they will keep getting what they're getting which is good quality jump shots by the ball handler. The screener's man has to get up and impact the pick and roll at the point of the screen. Heritage. Terrific ball movement. Slams it down. The assist from number 44, Nikola Miritich. For top and a nice finish at the basket. Quarter coming to an end, he'll just throw up the prayer. That's it for the first half. Washington's up by one. Stay tuned for more Saturday Night NBA presented by ESPN on EA Sports after this timeout. And we're back at the United Center for the second half.
Along with me is Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Washington's got a slim lead as the third quarter gets underway. But Jeff, this one's anyone's game right now. It is very closely and hotly contested. I like how both teams are playing. They've just got to try to get a little bit more separation with some sound quality possession. Kicks it out to the corner. Gets the wide open look for three. That's good. Chicago's three for seven from the outside. Oh, beautiful footwork right there to stay in bounds, rise up, and knock in the three ball. To Dudley. There's the double team. He loses control of it. Here's a steal. And he's all alone through traffic and puts it down. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. For Tom, draws the double team. On the reverse, gets it to go. I love watching the attackers in our league be able to adjust, adapt, and then ultimately finish at the basket. Blows past his man, and he Euro steps his way to the basket, lays it up, and gets the roll. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. Gortat jump shot. Two-pointer won't go. Some might question that shot right there. I like that shot. You have a great player who's a great shooter. I like the creativity. He just missed it. Nice ball movement. Throws it down. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. The assist from number 13, Jeremy Brandt. Gortat draws the double for the layup. Unable to bring it home. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed it. Good finish inside. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Can hold on to the ball. Comes up with a pretty steal. Inside. Nice touch at the basket. An 8-0 run for the Bulls. The two defenders swarm. Ball comes loose. Oh, he goes for the save there. Out of bounds. It'll be Wizards ball. Their aggressive defense is clearly paying dividends, forcing plenty of turnovers. It's a big reason they have the lead they have. Dunleavy the rebound. With plenty of room, he fires for two. Off target. And we'll have a timeout. The Wizards down by eight. You can't allow teams in the NBA to go on extended runs. You've got to use your timeouts wisely. This was a good one. Gortat loses control. With one swipe, he comes up with a steal. Gets to the rim, unable to flip it in. Gortat has the double team close in. Moving the ball around beautifully. Moving the ball, excellent teamwork. Ref has three seconds, so it'll be Wizards ball. And Fred Hoiberg makes a substitution here. Number three, Doug McDermott. Chicago's leading Washington by a score of 86 to 78. To Gortat, he's averaging nine boards per game this season. Unable to flip it in. I really like that. That's good defense, good sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. Dudley. For three off the catch and shoot. Can't hit from way outside. I continue to see solid defense. It's the same defense that got him the lead. That type of defense will keep the lead for them. The 
assist from number 13, Jared Craig. Sessions on the drive, converts on the inside. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. Gibson fires yet again, unable to flip it in. Hey, that's good offense. Got the ball in deep into the paint, and they just missed. Gortat for two, puts it up. Gortat's attempt won't go. Poise and precision will get you a better quality shot than that. That's a bailout shot. That's a, I'm going to try to get us back in and be a hero type of shot. Playing inside out to Dunleavy in the paint. And Marcus Thornton with the defensive board. Double team closing in, smothering defense, and he gets the shot up. Bortot's jump shot won't go. Hey, you're not a one-man team. You've got to spread the ball around so that you can get better shots than that. A coach cannot stand for those type of shots. And Marcin Gortat's whistle for the foul. Offensive. Number 13, Marcin Gortat. And it looks like we have a little player shuffling going on here. Number 44, Nikola Miritich. Chicago's leading Washington by a score of 90 to 80. Forced to make the pass. Gibson with the rim rocking slam. Wow. Poster. Oh my goodness. What a dunk. Dudley. To the basket. It's good. And Marcin Gortat with six points here on the third. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Butler on the drive. It's good. And a foul. And now it's one free throw to finish off a three-point play. That's a hoop and a harm, a dunk and a foul, a three-point play possibility. That's a big-time play by a big-time player. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. To Gortat, adjusting on the shot. Can't get it to fall. Sometimes NBA players play the score, not the game. Good defense right there by playing the game the way it should be. Play defense. Moves around the defender. Rands turned away. What a block. To Gortat. He's averaging 13 points per game this season. Grant set to bring it up. To Gibson. Looks to the post, to the rim. That's a two, and it's a 15-point lead for the Bulls. That's a well-contested shot right there. Good defensive rotation, just better offense, finishing over the top. Gortat fires another shot. The Wizards with the offensive rebound for another possession. Kicks it out to the perimeter. Gortat looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team, knocks it down for two. He's shooting 64% from the field. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Terrific ball movement. Fires away for two. Knocks down the shot. He's averaging 20 points per game this season. Grant into the front court. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. Grant. Miritich for two. Hits the shot. 17 point lead for the Bulls. The assist from to Gortat. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. And that won't go. You can't hit a grand slam in basketball. It's one possession at a time. You can't go for the home run swing. You've got to make it simple each possession and generate a quality shot. Gets that one to drop. That's an 11 to 2 run for the Bulls. Sends it into the post, nails it. Washington shooting 64% from the field. And looks like we've got a 20 second timeout. That's just a nice layup right there. Fred Hoiberg's made a few substitutions here. 
Miritich is looking to do damage in the paint. Gets past the defender. Oh, rejected by Dudley and goes out of bounds. Gets it and quickly shoots that three. Dudley the rebound. To Dudley. Adjusts. It's good. And the foul. Block called against Portis. And Marcin Gortat will go to the line looking to complete the three-point play. That's great body control right there. Finishes the shot and now goes to the free throw line. Nice ball movement. To the basket, flips it up. The Bulls with control on the rebound. Unable to flip it in. On the follow, knocks it down. The Bulls up by 16. Multiple shot opportunities. Great job on the offensive boards. Not only securing the rebound, but finishing the play and continuing to build their lead. McDermott. Moving the ball around beautifully. The Bulls with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Portis shot, misses the two. Nice finish around the rim. Nikola Miritich with 17 points and six rebounds. Hey, you want to have a good first shot, but it's more important to have the floor balanced so you have enough rebounders who can give you second shot opportunity. Right here, good use of the second shot, not only... ...in getting the rebound, but putting it back in. Miritich moving the ball, excellent teamwork. Sloppy ball handling, oh, he loses it. Thornton fires for three. The Wizards with the offensive rebound. Now for a second chance opportunity. Sends it to the corner to Nene. Two minutes remaining in the third. Let's it go. Chicago's leading Washington by a score of 107 to 91. Number 15. Miritich, pass into the post. The two defenders converge, flips it up and in, off the double team. Nice effort from Jimmy Butler. That was the absolute definition of a fourth shot, but it's hard not to smile when you see it go in. That was a gamble that somehow paid off. To Dudley, he's got two assists in this contest. Fires for two, McDermott the rebound. Portis is looking to set up in the paint. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Unable to flip it home. You never know in this league. You just work for 48 minutes. Challenge shots, make it hard on the other team. You can get back in the game. Terrific ball movement. Thornton on the drive. Getting to the basket on pretty Euro step. Tied up and has to pass. McDermott and a nice finish at the basket. 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Chicago's up by 18. To Thornton. He's got three assists in the matchup. Dudley fires away for two. Strong rebound. Excellent position by Butler. forces it up, defense all over. And the third quarter comes to an end. The Bulls up by 18. We'll be right back with more basketball here on ESPN after this short break.
it's on to the fourth quarter, and at this point, when you're on the road, it's always difficult to come from behind. They have shown absolutely no interest in the chipping into this lead. That's why they're getting hammered. I don't see it changing because I don't see their attitudes changing. Portis. McDermott for two off the screen. Two. Chicago's leading Washington by a score of 113 to 93. Lazy pass easily stolen by Dunleavy. Portis, Portis fires away. No good. Listen, they're down big in the second half. Anybody can give in right now. I like to see players who are willing to play the full 48 minutes and contest shots just like that. To Dudley. He's got two assists in this contest. Tries it again. That's good for two. Washington shooting 61% from the field here tonight. To McDermott. Miritich follows with the fourth shot. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a new 24. Off the follow, unable to flip it in. Kicks it out to the corner. Off balance, he fires for three. Dudley's off the mark from downtown. To McDermott, he's got five rebounds in this game. Dunleavy jumper gets it to go, and it's a 22-point lead for Chicago. Wall walks it across. Number three, Doug McDermott. Finds the space and takes the wide-open three. Morris is unable to hit from downtown. That's good offense. Wide open jump shots are what you're trying to create. They created one. Unfortunately, they're missing here tonight, and they missed another wide open look. To Dunleavy. Here's the screen. McDermott from downtown with three on the clock. To Dudley. Dudley for two, shoots away. Good rebound by Dunleavy. To Dunleavy. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. Oh, excellent screen. Down into the lane. Puts it up. Unable to flip it in. You want to know why it's a blowout? Because they continue to get quality shots in the paint. They want to discuss things. Time for a full timeout. Have a substitution here. Miritich is looking to operate from down low. Nice ball movement. At the rim. Good finish inside. Oh, look at the use of the body to create the space to get the ball up and in the basket. Nice job. Beal. There's the pick. Field for two, lets it go, off the mark. 